freaking YouTube! In this new project we are starting, we are writing with this program called the Google Docs, you know? You know about Google Docs? Google Docs has this built-in uh, feature that you can write with your speech and we are gonna do this uh, video like project or this project in these one hour increments and there's a timer over here. So you can think of this like whole stuff as like a live stream or live stream basically and I'm gonna do this whole thing in English so this is at the same time we are practicing writing a book in English. I'm I'm like originally from Finland, yes, you know, and we are going to going to also on top of like writing this book in English, we are gonna like practice our pronunciation of the words. We are trying to master the English language over here and we might also do some like, I might also talk a lot of about my life and all kinds of things, you know. So this is like, we are not putting ourselves to any kind of box over here. If I want to write some lyrics for some like songs or something like that, or if I want to just like practice my voice a little and like use like like different uh, ways of like speaking, you know, I'm, I have all the freedom over here. We are gonna start a new, whole new like file over here. I have a fry, write a book in English, but who knows what's, it's, what's gonna follow over here. So let's start with a character and I'm gonna tell you a story about a, na a soldier named Black Feather for the, the, we'll start with this like story. So let's start. The black feather was in a helicopter and they were flying over the Vietnam deserts, jungles. You know, we are not at the desert, you know, this is about Vietnam war. The black feather Let's take that word out. So you're gonna you're gonna see in this like project how well the like Google Docs like speech recognition software really works. I'm gonna say to you that I have a, a Tula microphone. You know, it's about 300 euro range like microphone, uh, and it's an USB mic, and it's I think it's really good. But you know, you can draw your own conclusions. And I have a 14 like 1440p like monitor over here so i have a lot of like space you know to write this stuff a new monitor like from lenovo you know the lenovo it's pretty good brand of like computers so <clears throat> black feather was in a helicopter and they were flying over the vietnam jungles black feather was our most imp best soldier in sneaking around the enemy. Okay, so you have to understand about writing one thing that when you write almost every time when you write the first time the stuff, it doesn't really work. You have to go over it, you know, like go over it, you know, Blackfeather was in a helicopter and they were flying over the Vietnam jungles. The better way was like to say this kind of stuff would be like we were flying over the Vietnam jungles. Black Feather was in the helicopter like this with us. Black Feather was our best soldiers. Black Feather was was our best soldier in sneaking around the enemy. You could say, Black Feather was our best soldier. Let's drive another, like, let's like try again. Black Feather was a really special man in many ways. He didn't quite fit into the society where he lived originally. He was a New Yorker. 
you see how like like good this program works but you know i like i did a hundred hours of this practice you know like this this kind of practice of like writing in english and finnish like alternating and now i'm gonna up the like challenge a bit you know i'm gonna gonna go only in english this is gonna be more challenging to me but i want to like really really get it to the like core and 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 really hone down my ability to like make these like sna snap like uh, word word decisions while i'm like going like you know i want to get it like rolling you know where he lived originally he was he was he was a uh, New Yorker, but you know, it works pretty good. But you know, um, this software, you know, like how does it even work? You know, how much like, like, like speech recognition data do they have to have to like make this work? I don't know. But one thing I can say about writing in this way is that uh, when you write in this way, you know, you kind of like it's it's a bit hard on your like vocal cords you know i used to do this like days when i did like you know seven hours of this stuff like straight and you know with like one hour increments you know it was it was like hard you know and here we have a truth detective like background for you but but you know it was like hard you know doing doing that much of like speaking a day like it's it takes some guts you know and I have all already done today, like singing and and some video making, and uh, this one, this one is really like a story that I'm gonna like plan out over here. Uh, Black Feather was originally a New Yorker, and as a young man, he became. really good at pickpocketing so that's the that's the like that's the the, the start of this like story you know uh, black feather was a like uh, black feather was originally you know a pickpocket you know but he joined the military because he like was feeling that he's gonna get caught you know like soon if he doesn't like get something like like if he doesn't change or if, if he doesn't like do something about his like ways you know um and he that's the reason why black feather joined the military because he also felt that black feather was originally a new yorker and, and as a young adult he became really good at pickpocketing because he really didn't fit into the society it was the only and he had no way to get people to say yes to him uh, he because he really didn't fit into the society and he had no way to get people to say yes to him he had to he had to get into the crime because of that but he was not the gangster type he didn't really fit into groups either so he started and in just few years of doing this He became a self-made millionaire, even though of course, <coughs> of course it was all an act. Well, you know, you you know, you you see this the kind of stuff. Um, I don't I don't really like like know yet if I'm gonna 
like copy paste all of this like into the description so you can like if somebody wants to like see what i have been written writing you know then maybe may, uh, maybe i'll pick the best parts out of this and put like some kind of like the stuff like that but you know uh, it's not really we are trying to map out the story over here and then we like get get to the bottom of it you know um but when people started suspecting that there's something wrong with uh, Black Feather, uh, he started thinking about joining the military. Uh, the military. Because in the military, his real talents of being the ninja kind of guy would be put to use and he could flee his past on the New York streets. You know, that's that's the type of stuff we are like going for over here. And I'm gonna say this to you that uh, this way of like, like writing, uh, you know, I'm writing like this also because I have these problems with my hands, you know, with the fingers, you know. I can write with a pen if I have a like a proper table. And at this time, you know, I, in my home, I don't have a proper table that I can write with a pen and you know the ink, you know. Uh, but. I've been finding out ways that I can still like write, you know, but you know, it's not like in the past, you know, I used to write with laptop, you know, laptop in the dark room, you know, with the focus writer, you know, I used to do this like five hours, uh, five hours, you know, like, and I, I always like wrote in this like one hour increments, you know, I really feel that that's a good way to like do anything in your life, but you know, I used I used to write a lot with these hands and now they're all kind of busted, you know, so I have to like 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 improvise I have to like you find I found this way to write because of that But I'm gonna say that even though if you have like no problems in your hands, you know uh, You can still you, you should write like this uh, at least like like uh, like is sometimes you know because if you want to learn a language this is really good this is like excellent way to learn a language because you have you can like if you also make this kind of videos you know you can like ho hone your like pronunciation of so many words you know this is so effective you know if you want to talk to real persons you know you can get that kind of like like large vocabulary type of building you know going on but with this type this type of stuff you can go anywhere basically and 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 it's also good to like like say the words aloud you know it makes your writing kind of like you know if you go go over your writing and like read it aloud or like like say it aloud it sounds pretty different than if you're just silent and writing your pens or your laptops or something like that so i would suggest that you, success, success that you like use all the tools that you can and the other thing is that you can also practice your voice you know in like in many ways this year for me has been all about my voice you know but you know that's not really related to black feather at all but you know i just had to tell you that the ninja kind of guy would be put to use and he could flee his past on the new york streets you know and he could flee his past on the new on the new york streets um when he arrived at the boot camp the guys that did the draining you know um, when he arrived at boot camp his what are what are those called? Are they like officers? No, 
Like I have no idea about the military, you know. I don't, I don't even know about why I'm trying, trying to write a, like a story about the like army or the like war because I don't know anything about it. But you know, when he arrived at the boot camp, everybody could tell that this is a man that has a style way of moving. And that he had been probably been either a thief or uh, some kind of Uh, everybody could tell that this man, this man, has a way of moving. That is so fluid and roguelike that he can. Probably move in the jungles without even making a hiss. You know, that's the kind of stuff. Um, but you know, that's that's not really like really descript descriptive, you know. If we want to like go a little bit deeper, you know, we could say this like this, that um, we had this one practice session. Training. Isn't that what it's, what it's called in the military, you know, it's training. We had this one training session where Blackfeather... showed how he could crouch behind the sandbags and still keep his rifle pointed at the tree line on the horizon. He couldn't even be seen from behind the sandbags. That was an unfortunate thing for the man. Man, because we... The his talent was also the reason why he was sent to the front lines in Vietnam. You know, you know that kind, that kind of thing. You know, um, what what can I say? What can I say about that? You know, like like it's really like it's really inter interesting. You know. To think about, to think about, you know, that how you how you can write this kind of stuff, you know, uh, you know, uh, we could like 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 we could elaborate on this one with this one like this. Uh, we could like maybe we could like take uh, this one and like copy paste it over here and and say it in another way that black feather 
Das war's. Crouching. Was moving in a crowd. Pauses. No, what's. What's the word for that? You know, crowds like. It's not a position, you know, it's like. You no, know, like a. Posture, you know, posture, you know, that. You know, that's actually what I mean, you know, uh, because, like. Like, in a real world situation, I would get that word probably like. I would like nail it, but you know, I would probably remember it in a real world situation. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of those kinds of words that you don't use every day, but it's still a word that you use like a lot, you know, in English language, you know, uh, you could use it a lot. But you know, uh, was moving in a crowd's posture. And this has this word has this ing ing in the like like the 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 last last like two letters or three letters because you know it's kind of like a doing word. Black feather was moving in a crouching posture, posture, um, following a line of sandbags and pointing his rifle at the tree line over on the other side of the field boot camp We were looking at him from the He could he He couldn't even be seen from the other side of the sandbags. Just barely be seen from the other side of the sandbags. Of the sandbags. Like that, you see, pretty good, you know. I mean, uh, I mean that you can like get the basic idea over here, and then you can like elaborate in it. Elaborate it, but you know this like program it like through that like kind of like word succession that you could like say that black feather was moving in a, in a crowd You saw that and I like saw this like that's the interesting thing about this like Google Docs thing Is that it kind of like expands your like imagination? It's kind of intelligent in that way, you know because we were like talking about New York and you could think about like black feather was moving in a crow like a crowd you know you know and there was this like crowd singing on the backgrounds you know something like that uh, black feather was moving in a and i'm i'm just going to split it like this and i'm 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 not go i'm not trying i'm trying to like create an outline over here but at the same time, I'm really like trying to be like pretty free at this point, uh, because um, you know this is kind of backstory. You know, you like you could like divide it. You could like divide it into these like acts. You know, uh, and we are gonna create an outline over here. And let's just say that we have a seven type of like things that can do. And this one, the first one is that. The first one is that black feather is young, and the second part is that black feather becomes a big pocket. Uh, black feather 
big pockets. There's a scene like that. Black Feather gets suspected. Um, Black Feather. Oh, actually, you could like. Uh, uh, Black Feather flees his past and join, joins the military. These ones I write with my fingers, you know, so it's a bit easier. Uh, Black Feather fights, uh, is at the boot camp. Black Feather is in the Vietnam War. Black Feather returns from the war. Is it, and then I'm going to say that Black Feather returns to New York to sell overpriced Fedora hats to business people. To gentlemen. You know, that's that's Black Feather's life story. He's like young and he then he becomes this like peak pocket guy. Black Feather gets really good at peak pocketing. Uh, then he Black Feather flees his past and joins the military. Uh, Black Feather is at boot camp. Black Feather is in the Vietnam War. Black Feather returns from the war. And Black Feather returns to New York to sell overpriced fedora hats to gentlemen. You know, that's that's the kind of line, you know. He used to be like uh, this like baddie, baddie, you know. Black Feather, this whole huge baddie, you know. Then he like joins the military and when he comes back, you know, he doesn't really want to get into crime again. So, so he starts to sell these like overpriced fedora hats to gentlemen in the streets of New York and that's like the end of the story you know he makes a sale <laughs> you know um, but you know uh, the way I actually like invented this story was that I have done this like thing you know like myself you know in the like real world you know I have been doing this like uh, like uh, I can say that this whole story started with me buying a fedora hat from this company called like Paul Smith it's a really like quality like clothing manufacturer and this is not really commercial for you or anything like that but you know it's really a quality one and and I started like uh, and I started like like moving in the night moving in the night with this like fedora hat and and these new clothes that I got and I went in the last went I, I moved in this crouching position, you know. I'm I'm a pretty like short guy, you know, about like 170 centimeters or something like that. And I like went in this night time, you know, and I went around, you know, I could like do because of my cycling history, you know, I could like do like five kilometers of this like crouching type of thing, you know, that was done in the trenches, you know, in the wars, you know. And I found this like rhythm this like i found this rhythm and i was humming humming like i like i learned like i started learning singing at the same time i like like uh, invented these like songs you know that went something like this that did you know that in the past like the mafia they hid tommy guns in the violin cases and they did this you know and I, I invented this kind of like these stories in my mind and I like sang them in the night time, you know, while doing this like crouching thing because I had so much strength from the like the cycling era of my life. Now I don't cycle anymore and I'm go maybe going to tell that story later. But, you, you know, um, I had so much strength. I could do like five kilometers of this like crouching stuff, you know, it's really hard on your like, like, like ties and calves and you know and a really like nice practice you know you get the same amount of like like muscle probably like well not maybe a same amount of like muscle like you know where as like running i can't run you know my knee joints are all like busted from 
cycling but but you know this practice it was really like a different type of like way to build muscle uh, in the legs you know it's it's I, I believe it's so much better than like 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 weightlifting you know I used to do a lot of those you know what what are those called you know like in the English language where you like take take the like like the a barbell or, or, or you something like that and you like like lift it with your thighs basically what's that even called you know pull up or something yeah i don't know but no no but you know i used to do a lot of those and and i believe that it's not really good for you like in the end and and uh, better ways to like like and i believe that even uh, also like like body weight exercise like push-ups and all of that are not really that good for you like like uh, elbow joints and and all of that kind of stuff it's kind of overrated overrated you know maybe it's the only way to like well it's not the only way to get like strength in your body but you know i did this thing i'm talking about over here like all like real like in real life you know i've been doing this in the like forest lately like like in the night time you know going through the forest and inventing these like like stories about like the war and you know i'm 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 kind of an imaginative guy and I, I like I like got this other fedora hat from the same company that is black you know and he, it has this feather in it and I invented this character you know black feather it sounds pretty good you know and I started like thinking black feather what what kind of guy could he like be and you know you that's the that's the stuff I'm like talking about you know because this like you can get ideas from anywhere, you know, but from reading and from all kinds of things like that. But I have never gotten ideas before this time, you know, from clothing, you know, like like this is kind of like like the next part of the story because I want to make this like fedora hat because it's part of my like ima image in the YouTubes. I want to make it it also part of the like story. Um, I kind of like want to like uh, when I write these books, you know, I, I kind of like want to like make it like seem that uh, that the whole book is kind of somehow related to the truth detective project, you know. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of like trying to create this like cohesive, you know, like thing, you know, in every kind of way uh, in my clothing. Uh, and lately I've been doing this like marketing thing and I want to create this like style or a look that looks like looks like a detective basically and I want to I want it to be like that kind of like catch you know in, in the real world I've been doing this kind of marketing and I'm probably gonna write something you know I'm not a freaking master marketer but or anything you know I'm not really into that stuff but you know let's just continue uh, so I've been doing this stuff for like like for reals you know and now I'm writing a, like a story about all the like elements I have been doing in the real life. You know, I could make a video of me doing this stuff, but you know, you know, it's it's I need I need a cameraman, but it would be it would be like funny to do it in like in like a place where in like a, like a shopping mall basically. You know, I want I have done this in the shopping malls. You know, and it's really it's it's really funny. You know, but it's really funny. You know, but you know, I need a cameraman that could like follow me around and. You know, I can go pretty fast in this style, you know, I can go like uh, the fast walking speed, basically, in this style. It's really, you know, like, uh, it's it's something that, well, I, I believe that almost, almost nobody around me can really do because you need so much strength and you need so much freedom to be able to do it like in, in like a long time, you know, it requires a lot of practice. But, you know, that's all, all like related to like this this whole stuff you know how this uh, story came about so and uh, as I said you know you can think of this like video series as basically as me here like um, practicing writing uh, with this like new like way but it's also really about like me just talking English like huge amounts of English because I have this dream you know this is about me you know if I write over here about, I'm gonna write over here like my dream, and I want you to like um, suggest or like 
what's the word for you know i want to inspire you in a sense that if you want to write like this i want you to go like all out if you have no experience in writing at all i just want you to go in every possible direction you can you know don't like box yourself into like i'm gonna be a science fiction writer or i'm gonna be a i'm gonna be a like you know uh, like uh, I'm I'm going to be a fantasy writer or I'm going to be like a crime type of like writer you know I'm I'm going to be I'm going to write about the wild west or something like you know write about everything you like like possibly can in like 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 in the start you know because writing is not the same as like music you know uh, uh, writing is not the same as like music you know because uh, because you you can you can really try different kinds of styles with writing much like much earlier i believe this uh, you can try different types of writing much earlier on your like writing journey than with like for example with um with the guitar maybe you know with the guitar you probably like who can't do those kinds of like those kinds of things that are related to like metal or like jazz in the like starting when you start you know but when you start writing uh first of all i have no idea uh, I, this is this is really hard but you know my dream my dream is that is that i want to live in a country where I can use English all the time as the only language and I want to reinvent myself in this way in every area of my life in the clothes, in my body language and in my spoken language and also in my art style what i mean by this is that i want to create a new kind of like man out of myself um, and I want to leave behind, this is my dream, you know, I want to leave behind Finland, yes. You know, Finland has been a really good place to like start. But, you know, I, 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 I realized that I, you know, I've been doing, I, I did this like this video series, for example, like in the Finnish language, you know, you imagine like 5 million people, like, like what kind of percentage of those 5 million people are even interested in literature? What, what percent of those interested in literature are interested in writing? You know, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And, you know, I just realized that, you know, the English language, you know, it's it's so much more styler, you know. And I, I believe that this, like, gentleman style I'm, like, inventing for myself over here, the style I really want to like nail it in life. I've been thinking about a lot of these questions that like if we put here a question for you, like this more kind of self-help self -help stuff over here, uh, what kind of a person would you like to become? Like what kind of a person would you like to become? Uh, like do you want to be the villain? Do you want to be the villain? Do you want to be honest and good? Do you want to be the guy that changes a lot? Do you want the people to trust you? Like all kinds of all kinds of stuff like that do you want the people to trust you um like do you want to be the villain do you want to be the hon honest and good you know um what and you can ask these questions like what kind of like 
sp speaking style or clothing style or art style would suit this kind of person. You understand what I'm what I'm saying over here that um, that this is this is like this is so high level um, self development stuff because if you want to really like 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 say do you want like what the kind of person would you like to become I'm gonna post some like like deeper questions over here for you like how do you want to dress. How do you want to speak? What do you want to feel? Do you want people connection? Do you want respect? Do you want favors? You know, stuff like that. Uh, these are kind of like egoic, you know, this one especially is really egoic, you know, because favors are like, favors are like really low level of like, you know, when you think about favors, you know, it's really a low level of like being a human being because, you know, respect, it, it is high level, you know, this is not really, this is like, this is a high level and connection is even higher level. And when we get to this feeling state, you know, this is a he really high level of stuff, you know. Uh, this is kind of like achievable, you know, you can start to dress like anyone if you have the right kind of money and the sense of, and, and the sense of style, but you know, uh, but you know, speaking, you know, like, why do, why do so few people have a style way of speaking, you know, it's of course related to the fact that you can't buy a, you can buy a voice, you know, you have to develop it. And if you want, if you have to develop something, that defines that this is self-development. But you know, self-development is also related to the like material things in life, like your clothes and your like homes. And you know, uh, self-development is related to all of that. It has a, like this like like mind level and the spiritual level, and it has all of these levels to it. But it all links down to this like this like earthly life. And uh, that's the like the like the greed or the uh, not the greed, but the, you know that's the like like the core what I'm trying to achieve with this like truth detective thing. Basically, is that is that uh, I want to like I have this like dream, of course, of making a killing out of this. You know, I mean, I mean, making money out of this stuff. You know, that I do, but. But I feel I feel that um, it's all still related to like myself as a personality and as a like a, like a spiritual human being. Well, in in that way, you know, it's 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 self development. But it's not all. It's not really only about like being successful and all of that. I'm trying to create a new vision of of self development. Like my dream is. My dream is to create a new vision for self-development. You heard how I pronounced that word like self-development. It's, it's self-development, not like self-development. It's self-development, you know, up, you know, e development, development, not development. You know, that sounds low. That sounds like de like development, you know. My dream is to care. My dream is to create a new vision for self-development. You know, uh, I have this like succession for you if like if you like um, a type of like a public speaker type. Uh, this is also a great way to like 
practice public speaking that's for sure so uh, you can like go over this like things uh, that you say a lot like my dream is to create a new vision for self-development and I want to throw this suggestion for you that if you like like taking walks in the night time you know and if you're that kind of person that like doesn't want any attention from anyone you know uh, at this point you should really like like repeat like brain you brainwash yourself uh, to like believe in your own ideas of like what your life is going to be about for example this sentence over here this could be something that you could like like keep repeating yourself in every kind of situation and you could like like uh, do it in another language that you don't normally speak you know if you want to learn the japanese you know like invent some some like like a hit type of like thing for yourself or this like this like you know bullet point type of thing for yourself and you know keep repeating it to yourself and you will learn the pronunciation but it will also help you as a human being you know to clarify your like like where you're trying to head with this so my dream is to create a new vision for self-development and what does that really mean i mean i want to boost the boundaries of self-development Uh, lately this year this year you know it's really interesting I, I i could map over here like what i have been doing you know you can work on your body let's let's like let's map self development uh like if if i had to like explain to anybody like what is self development even about you see how i'm not really like writing the vietnam war story anymore but as i said it's this uh, like this file is about really honing my english skill trying to write as many type of things as possible you know if you only write about the war you know <laughs> or something you only write science fiction or something you d you will never write this like self development like do war and self development even go together well well yeah in a sense you know you can learn like stuff that's related to self development in the armies and you know but but really war is they don't l like think about it in the, in the completely same way you know self-development is really about building a better society about building a better world about building a better individuals you know and war is about like creating this like force self-development is really not about force it's more about brains you know what is self-development even about? Self-development is about trying to make yourself better in every way and in every aspect. And that's the reality, you know. Um, if you think about schools, for example, like do schools really teach you self-development? They teach you these skills, you know, I learned basic English at school, you know, but that doesn't take you really far if you like think about like Finnish people that are like, I like have went to the school, you know, you could, you could see that uh, like in my age when I was like young, you know, you could see that those guys that, you know, play the video games and the what's the animes you know like i used to be into that stuff too and and you know it's really like evident that they had better skill in the english language you know but then when we go to the next level you know uh, like how many finnish people actually read english books uh, let's start with this question you know this is what this is the thinking i want to like teach you how many finnish people actually read books at all we have 5 million human beings in the fin Finlandia. How many of those people read books? How many of those people read English books? How many of those people that read English books in Finland uh, actually use English language in real life? And how does it influence their uh, like language ability? You know, 
I have read hundred I have read hundreds of like books in English, you know, and it is freaking clearly, you know, you can hear it in my like where the way I speak, you know, that it has clearly like um, influenced the way I speak the language, you know. Uh, but you know uh, that's only a small part. You know skills are really uh, like self development is about trying to figure out yourself in every aspect. Self development is also about trying to figure out yourself in every aspect. Man, I'm gonna say to you about this way of writing. It's so powerful. Like I've been writing for the last like like four months or something like that uh, with only like paper and the ink you know and it's awesome you know you can come up with awesome stuff you know but it's more tedious and it's more slow but with this kind of stuff you know there there are these like uh, like upsides to uh, it's kind of like tool basically but now you are feel, yeah now you're like starting to see how my mind is like going in this direction and then we head to this direction and I'm kind of like this is how I am really and I feel I feel that this kind of like 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 way of like doing stuff is really it's really funny because because you can you can like you can like uh, like talk at the same time as writing and you can like like create these like thought lines you know this is like the ultimate philosopher philosopher's tool basically you know if you really like are a focused like type of person you know you can do so deep stuff with this tool you know self-development is all about also about trying to figure out yourself in every aspect so what does this really mean you know we can create this like you know what's the what what's this called when you press the tabulator over here like like who knows but i i don't really know the word for this but but you know like what's what's this called you know when you go like this i have no idea I'll figure it out but uh, self development is all trying to figure out yourself in every aspect so what do you sound like uh, how do you think What's your personality like? How do you socialize? Can you make friends? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Are your weaknesses what's the physical side of your life like how's your health And then you ask this question, you you go even like deeper into this like subject, you know, how do you think? Like there's this thing, there's this word called lateral. Uh, I, I mean that, I mean that you can like, uh, like, and there's this another word called divergent, divergent. It's written like this, like a gentleman, <laughs> you know like a divergent gentleman oh that sounds freaking cool you know let's put it over here you know that's an idea for you a divergent gentleman <laughs> that's cool you know i like that one uh like linear what's your personality like Flamboyant, silent, K, 
Can you act? You know, uh, you map out these questions. Uh, you could do, if you are English speaking, you know, uh, learning another language. I have no idea about it, you know, because you know, I'm Finnish. I'm Finnish. I only talk, I only talk, you know, Finnish and English. Uh, there's this funny thing about the Finnish school system, you know, because fin Finland, as you know, is like. If you don't know about this, you know, I bet that there are some people like might be like listening to me that really don't even understand where Finlandia is. But, you know, Finla close to like Finlandia, there's this country called Sweden, you know, and the language of Sweden, I think it's not it's not really, really very style language, you know, um, I have seen very few uh, like Swedish persons that have like a really style way of going about their life because because the Swedish language is not really that style you know it's kind of like you know it's kind of like like it's it suits to maybe the like nationalities like the the way they are but you know I I'm gonna say that you know Swedish is not style at all you know English is very style you can do English in, in so many ways and you can do it in so much freaking style, you know. Uh, but, but you know, like Chinese probably, Chinese probably is also, also a, like a, a language where you can like achieve some style, you know. Maybe Japanese also, like the Asian languages and like French and Italians, you know, and, and you know, uh, like maybe, maybe those kinds of languages, they have more style in them. You know, the Finnish language... Uh, you can do Finnish language with style, but it's gonna sound pretty old-fashioned, you know. Uh, but mm, you know, the Finnish language is so like it's so like you know. I'm gonna maybe tell you about more like later. But but how do you socialize? Like like what what do you like? Can you make friends? Like like what are your strengths? You know, like can can you, can you make more strengths? Can you can you like turn your weakness into strength? Can you turn your weakness into strength? Like this is this is what I mean, you know, that you can like create this like this is this is where you should ta maybe start thinking about your life because uh, you have to map out who you are now. You know, I used to be the, I used to be pretty silent, you know, and I used to be that kind of guy that doesn't really want much attention. But nowadays, you know, I'm the most I, 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 I'm I'm pretty flamboyant, you know, and I'm I'm pretty attention seeking nowadays, you know, and. Well, I'm not. I'm not obnoxious. May, maybe I can be obnoxious. You know, that's 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 the way to get like, you know. Uh, I'm not really fame seeking either. You know, I I like like I like I like quality. You know, and if you're really fame seeking, you have to like cut. You have to really like make a compromise on the quality department. But you know. What kind of personality you are? If you are now a silent person, can you become flamboyant? You know, uh, with my clothing, like like this, like last last year, you know, I used to do these like videos that were I was so flamboyant in them, and it was kind of like this this like character, you know. But nowadays, I have started like 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 with my clothes, you know, I have some of these like really flamboyant, you know type of like colors going on and this like this stuff and I notice it that I can become so like free in my like like output you it like like wearing the stuff I wear nowadays it makes you so self-conscious it makes you so like feel like self-conscious that you have to put your like like you have it gets you so like into that zone where you are like I'm really in the middle of the freaking attention over here, so I have to pull out something really good. It likes put so much pressure on you, and then when 
you make that kind of like you know socializing like an like a you get a really good like a, like a, like a chance to like socialize with somebody and you like go with the flamboyant style you know and it feels so freaking good to do that kind of thing like especially in the finlandias because everybody is so like uptight and so like like insecure you know finnish people are really like kind of fake in many ways you know i feel that kind of about finnish people that they're so like this they have so much like tension you know in many ways you know like like i i want to take you know this is like a, a big vision you know like a changing and changing a freaking culture you know think about freaking that you know <laughs> but you know that's that's the hour for you that's the first hour for you i had so much freaking fun doing this i hope you like enjoyed this at, at least somewhat you know but it was kind of all over the place but you know that's the type of guy i am but but that's the first hour now let's do the second hour